Polls have opened for the national and local elections in the Philippines. In the country, there are 65.7 million registered voters. They can cast the ballots from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And the votes will then be counted and consolidated. And then we will know the preliminary results. In the presidential election, we have 10 candidates running for the country's top office. But based on surveys, we're actually looking at a two-way race to the presidential palace between two contenders. One of them is Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., a former senator and the only son of the late president, Ferdinand Marcos, who ruled the Philippines for two decades. His authoritarian regime was marred with corruption and human rights abuse before it ended in 1986, when the Marcos family fled into exile. Bongbong's campaign message is that of unity. His policy highlights job creation, response to the COVID-19 pandemic and education. The other contender is incumbent Vice President Lenny Labredo. She is a former human rights lawyer who is known for her pandemic response programs and relief operations. She wants to restore trust in the government, support small businesses and reduce unemployment. Whoever gets elected will run the Philippines for the next six years, and it shouldn't take long before we know who the winner is. Apart from electing a new president, Filipinos will also elect their new vice president, their new senators, and various other positions.